A deadly crash is leading to conversations about security at holiday parades here in Green Country. Organizers of Tulsa's Christmas Parade say safety, of course, is their top priority, and they are working with the Tulsa Police Department to add more officers. News on 6's Jonathan Cooper joining us now live with those details. Jonathan. Brian and Lori, Tulsa's Christmas Parade is set for December 11th, but organizers have been preparing for this for months, and that includes making sure that everybody is safe. As investigators in Wisconsin piece together the tragedy at a Christmas parade over the weekend, local parade organizers are revisiting their safety plans. We're obviously heartbroken for the loss of life and injuries that resulted in, uh, in Wisconsin. It's, it's a terrible, tragic situation. Paul Ross is a committee member for Tulsa's Christmas Parade and the vice president of American Waste Control. He says safety is always at the top of their mind in both preparations and during the parade. This is a very central concern for us and the board. And uh, one of the things we do is we contract with the Tulsa Police Department to provide security. In light of last night's tragedy in Wisconsin, where a man drove through a Christmas parade killing five people, Ross called Tulsa Police this morning and developed a plan to up security even more just to be safe. Increase the officer count. Sometimes there's just one officer at an intersection. We're going to have two. We're going to have patrol cars there. Ross says there will also be more officers for crowd control and, like years past, medical on standby. But one thing that won't change, he says, is the fun. The 95th annual parade will feature floats, Santa, and a whole lot more. I know there's people coming in from Arkansas and Oklahoma City and Edmond area to come to Tulsa Christmas Parade. So we, we trust it's going to be a great turnout, and uh, we're really excited about it. And we're taking the proper steps to ensure that it's a fun, safe environment for everyone. The parade starts at 11 a.m. on the 11th, and they're still looking for some volunteers. So if you want to sign up, you can do so on their website. The parade this year is going to end right here close to Winterfest. Reporter Live in Tulsa, Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.